It's in here. It's Saturday. Currently 5 p.m. for me. And um, I get linked to a Tower of God Season 2 official teaser, English subtitles, IGN FanFest 2024. Uploaded to IGN two hours ago. And I'm like, all right, official teaser, yada, yada, yada. So I start the video and I'm listening to, I don't even remember his name. We're going to, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to react to it too. Cause I stopped at, at a certain point, but, um, I'm listening to like him explain what the second season is going to like recap the first season, explain what the second season is going to be about all this stuff. And, um, and I was like, Ooh, interesting. Again, I'm still confused as to the rollout of this second season. Honestly, what it feels like is we are leading with telling what the events of the season is going to be as if the only people watching this season is going to be people that have read. They're tr it's like I, I feel like there could have been so many different ways you roll this out and we'll touch on it whenever whenever we start to react to it. But I'm just confused as to the way they're choosing to go about this. So really quick, let me just pull this up, hit pause on this, and let me hit play on this. IGN Fan あの、その髪の塔で主人公夜の声優を担当しておりますアイチヒカオ。ボイスオブノルズ、アズイコールインジャパニーズ、ボイスジャパン。ボイスオブノルズ。ボイスオブノルズ。ボイスオブノルズ
different art style. Alright. Okay. Very short. My timeline, if you're not familiar, uh, well, first, first, let's look at this again really quick, really quick. He's got like the pompadour here, dude. <laughs> I'm digging, I'm, I'm digging the art style. It's more similar to the series, to the webtoon. I can feel the kinetic energy. This two seconds of of combat from Bomb has more kinetic energy than the first season. <laughs> that, 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 that right there has more kinetic energy than the first season. So I feel good about it. Um, I would like for them to give us a little bit more information. We'll go search around for some articles to see if they released anything. But um, but yeah, um, I'm not entirely too happy with them um just divulging some of the information of of the second season i know you get synopsises and stuff like that but in my honest opinion being an anime only and coming into well being an anime only rereading the first season again and then starting the second season which this season's going to cover Coming into it, being introduced to Wang Nan, I know that it's going to be a different name for for um, the Japanese translation. I didn't catch it, but being introduced to Wang Nan, what the I'm not going to say the specifics, what the test that he's taking, what he told us, and all the different characters you meet. You see the four four new characters that are there: the older girl, the little girl, dude with the silver hair. Wang Nan's the guy, the kid with the blonde hair. And then you got the big guy that has the thing that's flashing over his shoulder that changed from like a little wing to a foot. And you have the person with the long hair who they told us is Juvial Grace. Coming af after ending the first season and you get the post credit scene of the guy with the long flowing ponytail standing on the edge of the cliff. Being an anime only, I'm pretty sure a lot of anime only who had no conversations with someone who was red is like, that must be bomb. Ooh, wow, that must be bomb. So for me, being an anime only, coming into and I'll divulge a little bit of information, but it won't be, it won't be too, it won't be like spoilery. Coming into season two, and you you're starting. I'm hitting like on this because it's six six six. Um, coming into the start of season two, you're introduced to Wang Nan. You're introduced to all these characters, and then this dude with the long ponytail shows up. My brain is instantly te instantly telling me that's bomb. But the series is telling me that's not bomb. That's someone else. But everything is telling me this is bomb. <laughs> this is bomb. But the series is convincing me that it's not him. And what I don't what I don't like is the fact of the matter of why would you have Bomb's voice actor, the main character's voice actor, voice another character that kind of looks like Bomb? But we're not supposed to know where Bomb is. That's what can, that's, it's just, you lose that element. You Like, why are we on Front Street just telling us that information? Nonetheless, I'm happy that we're getting anything. <laughs> Things to note is, I said it, feels like it has more kinetic energy than the first season that was a big complaint for a lot of people uh, a lot of people's complaint was the art style i didn't have any issue with the art style it very apparent and very clear to me that the art style in this little clip right here is it's different than i won't say it's very different but it's definitely different from um from season one it's more reminiscent of the art of the webtoon so which is a plus it is a plus and at least I'm able to, like, I'm looking at these, I'm recognizing who characters are. I know who they are. I know exactly where we are in the in the scene. I know what's happening. It feels like, like, damn, this looks like it's that panel right there. And that panel, I'm seeing panels in my brain. So that's good. I'm excited, though. I'm excited. Really quick, let's browse around to see if there's any, um, any articles for Tower God Season 2. So there's only two articles since this has dropped. 
I just want to see if there's any information, like official information. Check out the sneak peek before we jump in the studio one. You'll probably know. Okay, there we go. Before we jump in the studio, wanted to let you know that you'll probably notice a new art style. We heard from the creative team behind the series that they've aimed to make the anime style closer to the original webtoon. Without further ado, here's the clip. So that's that's what it felt like. That's what it felt like. It definitely felt like that. New art style, and it looks more reminiscent to what the webtoon is. Um, this is the article from comicbook.com. Tower of God is returning for the highly anticipated season two of its run later this year, and fans got the first look at what to expect from the animation season two with its first sneak peek clip. Tower of God ended its first season a few years ago, four to be exact, as a part of a new partnership between Webtoon and Crunchyroll to bring certain webcom webcomic franchises to life through anime. And thankfully for many fans, it was announced two years ago that Tower of God will be returning for a new season. Now that new season is finally coming our way later this year. Although it's been in development for quite some time, Tower of God Season 2 has shown very little ab about what fans can hope to see in the new season. I would like to know how much pre-production there was though. Taking on a new arc that, place, that takes place six years after the cliffhanger ending of the first season, Tower of God Season 2 is teasing a new central protagonist taking on the aspect of the tower with all sorts of new characters. You can check out the first look teaser from Tower God Season 2 below, released during IGN FanFest 2024. And they have the video there. Tower God Season 2 is currently scheduled for a release sometime later this July as a part of Summer 2024 anime schedule. And Crunchyroll has confirmed they will be exclusively streaming the new season outside of Japan when it premieres. Okay. Much of the staff and potential returning cast from the first season are still being kept under wraps as the time of writing. But Taichi Ishikawa, who voiced Bomb in the first season, will be returning to voice a new character, Juvio Grace, for the return of Prince Art. Still didn't need to know that. If you wanted to check out the first season, you can find you can find that Tower Gods are now streaming. Okay, gotcha. Um, so this is all the information we know. Let's really quick, let's pull up Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll.com. Tower God Season 2 reveals first look at new animation. See what's cooking ahead of the July 2024 premiere. The July 2024 premiere of Tower of God Season 2 is looming on the horizon, and we finally have a fresh look at what's next during this weekend's IGN Fan Fest event. As the festivities rolled on today, everyone had a chance to check out the animation for Season 2 for the very first time. Dig into the latest preview below, then link the video again. <clears throat> and then that's it. That's all they got. So there's no information. So we don't know if it's the same director we don't know if it's the same um person doing the art we don't know if the same studio we don't know anything there is no official information so if there's any information going around i'm not gonna bother you even try to look but if there's any inf information going around via like twitter for leakers or all this stuff you guys take it with a grain of salt i'm just not gonna listen to it until we get official news but um yeah we know we know the art style has been changed they definitely made note of that. They wanted to make make it look more like the webtoon, which it does. It does look more so like the mid to end of season two art style, closer to season three art style. It does look like that. Um, and yeah, we know that it's coming this year. So that's exciting. I think that's all I got. I'm going to catch you guys. More coverage to come. We get more information. I'll be here. I think I'm going to react to it. I don't know yet, but... Until then, until more information, I'll see you.